Hello YouTube, Tim here. And this is a very old bow that I'm just getting around to actually testing on a tillering tree. This is one of my heaviest, shortest adult recurves. It's a 52 inch long, tip to tip, 1 inch Schedule 40 bow. The final 6 inches are gently recurved. And as you can see, it's a little bit, it does take a little bit of a set in the handle. Let me unstring it and then I can show you that. The only thing that makes this thing easier and lighter than the Grozer bow is its length. So there you go, as it's slowly coming back to full. It took a tiny set right about here. So let me go ahead and string it, and then let's test it again. This string's not really appropriate for it. The loops are a bit too large, but it's the only string that I had that's appropriate. Uh, the original one got lost or mixed in with something else or perhaps sold with another bow. So, we're just going to have to make do with what we have. Now, if you're curious about the exact shape and size of this bow, I can do a build along, but it's essentially the same as Nick's uh, banded crate bow. And that's found in his very first PVC archery book, The Impossible Bow. It's very nice. This is essentially that, which just means the handle is a little bit low of center, which means it's almost a true center shot. It's a very nice bow. It shoots very, very fast and far, and uh, I don't know exactly how, how far uh, this goes in terms of weight. This is also a bow that I used to demonstrate applying a black finish, doing an ebony style finish. This is a long time ago. So we have the scale. Let's go ahead and hook that up and get it all started so that we can uh, test and see exactly how much this bow draws. By feeling it, if I had to say something, I'd say it's probably closest to 80, 85 pounds, something in that ballpark, because it feels very, very similar to the Gallant bow and to the little baby beast. Although it's greater length than either of those makes it considerably more comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause while I warm up Here the scale. with a fully functional scale. Isn't that something? Okay, drawing pounds. The brace height is just a shade over seven inches, so calling it seven inches is probably appropriate. It's a really nice brace height, just over a, a, a fist and a thumb. So let's begin to draw it. 14.75 pounds at nine. 23.7 at 11. 32.25 13, 39.3 at 15, 45.5 17, 52.35 at 19, and now switching to 20 inches. 20 inches, it pulls 54.65 pounds. So yeah, this is a heavy bow. I think you can safely say that. Now I'm drawing 22 inches. 60.75 pounds. 24. Sixty six point three five pounds. These last few inches are going to be the most difficult because somewhere around twenty six to twenty eight inches, the bow has a tendency to collapse here at the lower limb. These bows were made before I had a tendency to uh, reverse the bow, putting the flattened end on the back rather than on the belly of the bow, and I think that aids them in uh, resisting collapse just a little bit. Also, if the bow were a little bit more uh, tapered, that would probably also help a lot. Okay, so 25 inches, let's go. 71.7 pounds. 
six inches. Seventy-three point seven pounds. And that's very, very close to its ultimate final draw length. Very close. I think we can get to twenty-eight, but this is pushing the limits. Twenty-seven inches. Seventy-five point seven. Inches. This is going to be the final draw, and I really, really strongly hope that it uh, doesn't blow up in my face or collapse. I think it'll be fine. 28 inches. Okay. 81.5 pounds. Okay, so. Well, it's not as beefy as the the Grozer bow that I recently acquired, and it's not my heaviest bow, even in comparison to some of the other bows that I've made. It's certainly one of the most comfortable heavy bows that I have, and man, it is a very hefty, strong feeling. I really do like it. This was actually one of the inspirations for making the Home Guard bow, because this bow shoots so well and it's so heavy, it's such a short length. If I could only replace the terminal six or eight inches, I think you'd get even better performance out of bows like these, which is essentially what we've done with the Manchu bow. It has a cord that's actually shorter than this, but much, much less stressed. Thank you for watching.